good morning students how are you so uh, i think all of you are fine okay let's start data structure class 12 students this is class uh, this is class 4 class 12 okay uh, so let's start with data structure so what is data structure a data structure is a particular way of organizing data in a computer so that it can be used effectively so that it can be used effectively so again uh, i just read it a data structure is a particular way of organizing data in a computer that means we use data structure to organize the data okay so we use data structure to organize the data that means suppose we store a uh, student details in a particular index with a uh, with a particular index we store student data with particular index and it store suppose first student data store here uh, second student data store here third student data store here fourth student data are store here so we can arrange these student data or we can link this data into a data structure into a data structure so how can uh, it is possible now in data structure we can organize this data we can organize this data so how it is possible later on we discuss it okay so a data structure is a particular way of organizing data in a computer so that it can be used effectively we use data structure in our real life also in ticket counter when we purchase a ticket in that time we arrange a line or we maintain a line isn't it so it's also a data structure it's also a data structure when we uh, go to uh, suppose uh, a particular uh, cities suppose uh, we move from uh, calcutta to delhi so we maintain a path okay so it's also a data structure so in our real life we maintain data structure so in computer we can store data through data structure clear so data structure are divided into two parts linear data structure and non linear data structure linear data structure where sequence are maintained and non non linear data structure where sequence are not maintained clear look at linear data structure sequence are maintained that means suppose we store a value in into an array okay so array this is the first location second location third location and fourth location okay it starts from zero this is the first location so we store a value a b c d now the sequence is maintained here this is called linear data structure and non linear data structure where we don't maintain this sequence this sequence okay so these are under non linear data structure linear data structure example array stack queue linked list and non linear data structure graph and tree so in your syllabus you found array stack and queue only only array stack and queue these three okay now we are introduce with we are uh, the next topic will be stack now the next topic will be stack so what is stack 
stack is a linear data structure okay stack is a linear data structure where we can insert a data where we can insert a data like this this is called stack whenever we insert suppose we insert a value 1 into stack then it will comes here next we insert 2 into stack it store here 3 here in that way it can store the data but whenever we delete this data then first delete this element this is called top of the stack top of the stack okay suppose this is the element suppose in this stack we can store only three elements so now top of the stack is reached three elements so it is called stack full stack full now whenever we insert an element suppose four we insert into this stack this situation is called stack overflow stack overflow stack over flow and now suppose we delete this element whenever we insert an element this situation is called push and when we delete element this situation is called pop so stack has only two operation push and pop push means insert pop means delete now start from a top of the stack we can delete 3 then 2 then 1 suppose stack is empty no elements are there now we delete an element from stack this is situation is called stack underflow stack underflow stack underflow and stack follow stack follow lifo algorithm l i f o last in last in fast out last in fast out okay Now, stack implementation using Python program. Stack implementation using Python program. So, we define a class stack. Now, initialization of stack variable. The first variable is called self and item. Self is a reference variable. Okay. And item is a value okay so stack in stack when we insert a value one this has an uh, address where we can store the value of one the value one can store in a particular address this address holds in the self variable so self dot item equals to blank list they push self and item both are passed into push function self dot item dot happen item item will be add into stack now they pop delete the element from stack return self dot item dot pop so here we can delete the element last element in pop uh, stack okay def is uh, is empty if the stack is empty then what do we do return self dot items blacklist Dep top of the stack so already discussed what is top of the stack so return length self item we calculate the length how many numbers of elements are in stack 
ok. So, this is called uh, the stop of the stack next string stack that means we enter the elements as a string. So, we can define this function if name equals to main then we call this stack class with constructor stack stck. This is the uh, variable stck where we can store these data items and now stack dot post 5 10. So, we show here the output 5 10 the last element will be 10 5 10 in that way we can insert into a stack. So, this is the uh, implementation stack implementation using python program ok. Uh, this is very important. So, first thing is what is data structure, second thing is linear data structure, non linear data structure, third thing is what is stack, next stack implementation using python and the last one in stack is notation or infix to postfix expression. How can we convert an infix expression to postfix expression? Look at here. Suppose a plus b, this is called and this is called an infix expression where operator are in between operands. Okay. So, this operation this expression is called infix expression and now it convert into postfix expression postfix expression. So, the operator goes to last ok. How it is possible look at here a b this is called root this is called left element this is called right element so this is if we uh, define this structure this infix expression into this format this is called tree format so we can find that this is the root in between is called root so this is root this is left element this is right element this is left operand this is right operand. So, we can define in that way in postfix expression in infix we can found left root right left root right, but in postfix expression the formation is left right root left right root. So, we can convert into in, uh, this expression into postfix we can write here uh, a b plus. In that way we can convert any infix expression into postfix expression ok. Suppose a plus b star multiplication c this is an infix expression. So, how can we convert into postfix expression? Look at here these are two part this is left part this is right part ok. So, star is the root c right hand side we find at c. Now, left hand side again we find this is the root and left right. So, what will be the answer a b plus a b plus left then then right c then root star. In that way we can convert expression infix to postfix.
Is that clear? I hope so. So, these are the very important part of stack and data structure is very important in your syllabus. So, read it carefully. I provide you some notes regarding these topics. Okay, you can find it in assignment or homework. Clear? Thank you. Have a nice day.